Hi everybody, it's Jeanette Bilda. So today we have a design team project for Relative History, scrapbooking company out of the UK. This is a new line, the Art Deco 1920s style uh, paper packs. And there's paper and some really gorgeous ephemera cards. And what I've done is made a little cascading album. So it opens both ways, which is why you see ribbons on both sides. Uh, there is a tutorial for how to make this. Um, I got the tutorial from My Creative Spirit, so I'll have a link down below showing you how, um, or link to that tutorial so you can take a look at that. Really, really simple. The papers in this are just beyond gorgeous. I was probably should have done an unboxing to show you the papers, but it was like I opened it and went crazy and immediately started making the book. So <laughs> um, the cards come on nice sheets. You can cut them out, use them as you will. I've used them as cards and then I've also done some fun things with them. So you'll see that throughout the book. So just know when you get Ephemer cards, you don't have to use them just as the cards. Look at how they're made. There's so many ways that you can use these. And again, this paper is just gorgeous. And of course, what I really like about her paper is that it has a wonderful texture to it. It almost has a linen kind of a texture to it, but it's a smooth linen make any sense. <laughs> But what I do love is that it is very, very sturdy, really nice quality paper. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and undo both sides. And then we're going to start going this way. Now, what I've done is with each page, I kind of, I wanted to sort of have something different for each page. And yet, you know, there's um, a nice flow to everything. So again, here's, like I said, this is one of the cards. And what I did was I just fussy cut out the little lady here and then just backed it with some black cardstock just to give it some uh, stability, but also to, you know, enhance and made a little tack and used the paper to make a little hole reinforcer. Every one of the pages has one of these nice little flip guys to hold down the pocket and we have the pocket and inside is a nice matted photo page and again this is another one of the cards i just cut out the middle piece here and this makes a nice little photo mat and next page Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So in the um, set of papers, you have these wonderful pattern papers. There's also these kind of almost like watercolor pages. So it's got the same sort of art deco patterns in the back, but this wonderful sort of washed colors on them. Really gorgeous. And again, so one of the cards, and I just fussy cut out this little lady here used uh, the Martha Stewart photo corner punch to make these little photo corners. The tutorial that you get from my creative spirit, every page uses this. I only used it on this one page. Like I said, I liked the idea of having a bunch of different, different pages. It's a little card tucked into this pocket, which I made out of one of the cards again. And in here we have another photo mat. And again, one of the cards and just fussy cut out the image, put on there. Now, what I love is, as you can see, at first, you kind of, um, when I was looking at the pages and putting them together into these little groupings of three, at first you think these don't really go nicely together, but as you can see, once you start putting them together, they are just gorgeous. And I have used, there are 33 different pattern page papers in this collection, 33 completely different pattern pages, which is amazing. I've used every one of them. <laughs> and 
this is my favorite page. I don't know why it's the colors or something. I don't know what it is, but I just love this. Again, from the cards, made a little page there or a fuzzy cutout image there. And here we have just one of the cards and I put it on some black cardstock and then had some of this extra paper, which I just love and just made a little, so a little page out of it. And this tuck into this little pocket. And here's another photo mat and this one just used the different scraps from making the different page um, elements for a little photo mat. And the next page. And this is again, let me take this guy out. This is another one of that I was mentioning. This gorgeous, the Art Deco patterns here in the back, and then like this watercolor look going over it. I just made a little tuck from one of the elements from the card and a little photo mat there. And again, one of the cards made into a little pocket for another little tag. And in here, another photo mat with another fussy cut from one of the cards. Absolutely beautiful set of papers. Really loved working with this. Here we have this one I've just sat down, just too pretty. <laughs> Inside, another photo mat, another one of the cards. I loved working with these cards. Some of them left as is, some of them fussy cut out the little images. This is just a simple belly band for another of the cards. And it's, like I said, I, these papers, they all just go together really, really well. So this flips over. This is basically the back. It could be the front. I mean, you could put a little tag there, but it continues going. So if we open like this and we keep going. And here, open and have another photo mat with another fussy cut from one of the cards and a little pocket here for another of the cards and here another card made into a pocket for another little tag inside another photo mat I love these papers and these cards just go so well with the colors on the papers. I did not use all of the cards. There were so many a little fussy cut here, the little lady. I love this one too. I swear I'm a huge Poirot fan and I think that's why I absolutely loved working with these papers because it was like Poirot seeping through here in this pocket, a couple of little cards. And again, I just back them all with some card stock just to give them stability. Another of my favorite pages, I think. I don't know if it's the colors or, <laughs> but another pocket for another little tag. And here, another fussy cut from one of the cards. The belly band for a little photo mat and another card. And that is this book. Very, very simple to make. Um, I think the hardest part was just deciding how I wanted to decorate it. And as you can see, I, I kept it really simple. I had some ideas of some different flourishes, but what can you do? I mean, the paper, the images were just so gorgeous. It really didn't need it. So that is my book. Really short, simple, sweet, gorgeous papers. Um, I don't have a link yet. They aren't out quite yet. So this is like a little taster of what is to come. And as soon as I have a link to where you can purchase these, I will add it down below. Do have make your way over to relative history 
She has some really great papers. And if the name doesn't give it away, they're very historical in nature, um, genealogy papers, papers that are um, very much focusing on a particular event in history. So for instance, here we have Art Deco, the 1920s uh, feel. So definitely go take a look. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.